Today we will be making some crockpot style barbecue ribs, pork, St. Louis cut. And what you're going to need is about a tablespoon of each one of these ingredients, starting off with the garlic powder as you can see. And of course you're going to need some black pepper. And uh, each ingredient, like I said, is to taste, so it really doesn't matter the uh, measurement on the ingredient. And of course, always got to have a little bit of uh, salt with your pork. And the ingredient coming up next is my favorite. It's called Walker's World Caribbean Jerk rub and it's good on any type of white meat like pork, fish, chicken. I like using it. I buy a lot of it on Amazon. And after you get it coated well, it doesn't have to be perfect but uh, distribute it pretty evenly. You're going to go ahead and throw it into a Ziploc bag and you're going to go ahead and put it in the fridge for about an hour and a half just so that the seasonings have a chance to set and then you're going to grab your trusty old crock pot and toss the meat into there and then what I like doing is throwing a little bit of uh, olive oil into the uh, crock pot just to keep things tender and moist and then I like to grab some uh, I use homemade barbecue sauce but you can go ahead and use whatever you like store bought doesn't really matter but uh, just go ahead and put a good you know just coat it just, put, just so it coats it pretty well and then you go ahead and put the lid back on Cook it on high for about four and a half hours. And then what you're going to do is place it, after it's all cooked, you can see the bones are uh, showing. You're going to place it on a cookie sheet. And what I like doing is putting it on broil on high for about five minutes. And it gives, a, gives it a nice little crunch and a good uh, um, crust on it and a good color. And Stay tuned for the taste test. Alrighty, so we're back. So you guys saw the process on how to make those crock pot barbecue ribs. Like I said, I normally do put them on the grill, but when I get lazy and just want to go ahead and throw them in the crock pot, it gives them a little different flavor too, and it's pretty unique. So here we go. Let's go ahead and review this and uh, show you how they taste and how they look. So this is basically how they look. They come out really good. This one right here. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl. Mmm. Like they're really tender, and they just like fall off the bone as you can see. So, <clears throat> so yeah, those are freaking pretty dang good. So, if you guys ever get bored and want to try to make some crock pot ribs, go ahead and get a crock pot and a couple ingredients, and you guys are good to go. Alrighty, you guys have a good afternoon, and like always, thank you for watching the video, and thank you for liking and subscribing.